This site is an old clay pit used in the 1700s and 1800s to make bricks. Anciently, it was a stream bed. It's 400,000 years old, containing both hand axe and simple flint nap flakes, along with burnt flint and potential charcoal. We also find the remains of extinct animals, such as elephants and rhinos, along with smaller remains such as pollen, mollusks, amphibians, birds, and reptiles. I had the opportunity to dig with the Pathways to Ancient Britain project, who are seeking to understand the environment, behavior, and identification of the hominins who used this place in the past. You know, we use measuring tapes, kneeling pads, brushes, and trowels, one of those little clay working tools, little hand shovels. You know, we have a water pump over there to try and soften up the clay to make it easier to work with. Buckets, wheelbarrows, little station stuff. And there's our array of spider webs, which are affectionately called tarp spiders by previous groups. That's a quick tour. I'm a volunteer who produced this video independently. You can learn more about Barnum at pabproject.org is an area that I've taken over from a colleague here at Barna, and I just wanted to show this process of spitting, which is removing a certain volume of sediment while I'm looking for things that I want to collect. And we are going down for this particular segment in two centimeters bits. We set up this string here, and we measure up from there. Of course, measuring to the top of the section doesn't necessarily work out perfectly because it's hummocky, it's not even to begin with. Once you get a couple of marks in the section, you can set this up and try to get it level. And then you just kind of run your trowel across the section here to get a nice line. So you can see a little bit of marking here. I'm gonna kind of work my way around the edges and come into the middle as we go along as well we want to measure and make sure we're flat a little high on this end which makes sense because I'm still working on it otherwise we're making pretty good progress you will measure it this way measure it this way through the middle measure 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 so that is the process of creating a spit I think that could be charcoal it could be manganese staining we're not sure but they go back and test it they're trying to figure out if this site was used for deliberate fire making a very long time ago yeah, there we go collection of them over here. So here I've got a couple little shells that I'm going to collect. I don't have to find all of the shells, I'll also get a lot of those out with the sieving process. So this is my little collection bag for this spit. When we find things as we go down carefully with the trowel, from the trowel we switch over to this and we just kind of carefully pop those out. I also look for little pieces of flint and I put those in a separate bag if I find them. So if we find anything cool like a hand axe. Here's the gorgeous hand axe that Luke and Dylan found this here. Flint napped flake, large bone from a large animal. That is massive. I suppose if there were fish bones, but it's probably a seasonal pond that might not have had that. The typical stuff is kind of the smaller stuff. Anything that comes off the top, we stick into a bag, take it up the hill to dry out and go through the whole sieving process. Buckets here that are all part of the same sample. Tie the bag around the handle so we know which buckets go together. And you can kind of see out here how they're kind of clumped with each other. Put them in these buckets with some detergent. Let them sit for a day or two. This is wet seeding. It smells really nice. There we go. It's beautiful. To get all the stuff off of the seeds into there. Rinse all of that out into this bucket. We've got the lid already written up for this sample. Just pop this in here. Then if something happens to the lid, there's a label in there. That's that sample. Oh, there's that sample. 